everyone, we are the sound effects team for Hogan's Fall Play this year, Vintage Hitchcock. We are responsible for the sounds to help kind of incorporate more realness into what would be something you would not see back in the 40s. Uh, I'm Eden Nicholson. I'm Jacob Smith. And I'm John Lopez. Hi, I'm uh, Kate Classical, and these are um, the sounds I do for the sound crew. So here's the thunderclap for the lodger. <laughs> Uh, the door, it sounds like this. The crack symbol. <laughs> and the train whistle, which sounds like this. For the first act, I was responsible for all of the rain sounds, mm -hmm. which was sounding like this. Uh, in the second and third acts, I was responsible for some of the train sounds. That was the sound for the train moving. So I had a bit of the bigger sound, so that's why I do not have a seat. So I had one of our characters walks with a limp and a cane. So I had the limp and the cane sound when he's walking. I had regular walking sounds when there's walking or running. Really just the phone is um, you pick it up like this a lot and then you put it back down so that it makes the noise. Bird wings, yeah, we did some. Bird sounds and point noises. I had the sounds of lines being pulled. This is what we use for the handcuffs, which is kind of like angle it slightly. A bell sound. A bell, yeah. Uh, bottles. I have kitchen sounds. So when there's anything going on in the kitchen, we use that. Or when a, a tea tray is shattering or falling, we do that. And a bass drum. We had sharpening of a knife. We have the sound of a chair being pulled in and out. So we put it on the walkboard. Pull in. Push back in. Sound of a cutting board. And then a filing of a set of handcuffs. It's our body falling, which is used with some pieces of wood and a cardboard box, and when dropped at two different angles, it sounds like a body falling. And then one of them is a lifting of a serving plate. And then here's the uh, door that we use throughout the show to make uh, like drawer sounds. Crinkling some newspapers when they look at newspapers in a few different games. This is used for a cash register, register sound, so we press the tab key down and it makes the ding for a cash register. And then gunshots as well. Oh, the metronome we used for a, uh, in one of the scenes we have a clock that counts down, uh, slowly building up to our suspense. See, through that, it ticks, and we kind of get that ticking noise that we get when we want the climax to build. And so that is the SFX Corbin of Vintage Hitchcock.